I was born and raised in Minnesota, so I'm a Midwest girl. As they say, you can take the girl out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the girl. I'll always be a Midwesterner, but I actually grew up in a family of six children, my dad being a pastor, my mom being stay-at-home mom, and just a wonderful upbringing. And so now, because I grew up in a big family, I have a fairly big family of my own. I actually uh, married a man also from Minnesota, my husband Mark, and we have four children, Eric, Corey, Ryan, and Elizabeth. Just a wonderful time. It's always nice to have a lot of people around the family dinner table. I actually started in television news as an anchor and reporter for a small station in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I was the very first anchor woman ever in that city. That dates me a little bit, but anyway, a few years after I did the television news, then I decided to get into the shopping business when it was just getting started, and have absolutely loved being in, the, in this business for over 20 years. One of my favorite parts of the job is being able to speak with the customer live on air, no matter where they are in the United States. Here we are in the Philadelphia area, but they might be in California or Texas or Maine, and I get to speak with that person for maybe it's only two minutes, but for me to have that instant feedback and to be able to speak live on television with the people who watch, who shop with QVC, I think that is amazing. Hi, Cheryl. I'm from New Jersey. Nice to have you with us, Cheryl. Nice to talk to you too, Mary Beth, and congratulations. Thank One you of the so things much. that I cherish the most are the relationships that I've been able to forge with some of the guests that I've had on the air. Some of my favorite people, one of course is Marie Osmond. Marie and I are very close, we are like sisters. She never had a sister, and so she says I'm one of her sisters, and that's just such a privilege. And of course, with Nolan Miller, he's just such a dear friend, and I've just had such a, a great relationship with him, and, and he's always so kind and such a great gentleman, and I feel like it's such a privilege that I have had that opportunity to really get to know him over the last 15 years and more. I'm more excited about my job now than I was 20 years ago when I was just getting started. And to see even just how the relationship that we've been able to build with viewers has built over the 20 years. The people who watch QVC and have watched for a long time, they know as much about me as I know about me. And I literally, I miss them when I'm on vacation and I can't wait to get back and be able to have that connection with the viewer again. Love you, Mary Beth. We love you. No, it doesn't. It During the holiday season, it's always very hectic around QVC, and it's a busy time of year. One of the things that I loved doing with QVC around the holidays was bring all of my children and my husband in year after year, and we would sit around a sofa, read a book, and, and the viewers would enjoy seeing the children at that point. But we were laughing the other day because now that I have a 19-year-old and a 16-year-old and a 12-year-old, they are like, Mom, you're not reading books to us anymore more at Christmas, okay? So I've kind of decided that maybe they're too old for that, but we'll see. Maybe someday they'll be reading to me, or maybe we'll bring in the grandchildren someday. Who knows? <laughs> the other thing that we do is we actually open gifts on Christmas Eve, and so I know that's a little bit different than a lot of people, but that's something my family did when I was growing up. So I always make sure that on Christmas Eve, it's just us, we open our gifts, and that's our special time together. And then on Christmas Day, maybe we spend it with friends. Once in a while we get to spend it with family, but because my family's in Minnesota and we're here in Pennsylvania, we don't always get home to Minnesota to celebrate. But then if we open our presents Christmas Eve, we get to just lay around and be lazy on Christmas Day. And that's always a fun thing, especially since I get the day off every year on Christmas Day, as do all the QVC employees.